Hello guys, this is Paula back today to start another little golden book. I'm trying to knock out this custom order and I'm staying on top of it. So I'm glad about that. I can't show everything cause I really have to get them out to the owners. And um, so I'm bringing you along when I can. So right now what I did is I just picked out um, I had already picked out this fabric for the outside and I love the way it looks, okay? So this is the fabric for the outside. And this one is also for a little girl that she wanted the night before Christmas. So uh, there's several different versions of the night before Christmas. I don't know if you knew that, but I still, I have one that's in pretty poor condition, but I have three three others. So, um, this is like one of my favorite books to do because, I mean, it's a classic. Okay, so I'm going to move this aside, but first I want to show you uh, and tell you the size of this book. Okay, so... It is, let me look here. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> here it is. Um, it's eight inches, okay. Right here, eight inches. All right, and then it is six inches wide. Now, I have cut some of it out, so, you know, well, it's still six inches wide. Okay, so that is pretty much the standard size, but you wanna cut your paper and so forth at least a quarter smaller, okay? So I'm gonna set the book aside and um, we're not gonna deal with the book and the pages and all that today, but we might in the next video. We'll see if I can get the video going at that time. So I thought this is kind of at an angle but I thought it would look really good with this. I don't have any just in this same direction. I went through everything I had. I thought I did, but it was more of a plaid and I want it to be black and red. So, it doesn't have to be identical. So I went with a collection, it's Twas the Night Before Christmas, which is real fitting for this, right? And I've had this, it's by Echo Park. You can get it at scrapbook.com, or you could. But I am going to um, use this. I've had it for a while. I am gonna use a couple papers from Heidi Swap. Old, old, an old, um, an old one that I've, you know, had already. So let's get started. I brought out my I brought out the big guns today because I don't want to ruin my blade one more time and I have ruined it so many times. I hope you guys can see this is as far as I can put this um the cutter back. I mean it won't go back any further. So we'll see what happens from this point. I'll do my very best. Okay, so we're going to cut the this uh strip off, uh, the branding strip. And I'm trying to get this all lined up nice and straight. Okay. Now I am gonna cut these one at a time because I don't want them to be all shaggy, okay? And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, I'm gonna cut it as we go. I'm gonna cut these, okay? So I'm trying to move stuff so that I won't hit it every five seconds. Um, okay, so we're gonna need it to be seven and three fourths, right? Seven and three fourths. Now I'm gonna turn this, I gotta make sure I have this correct because on the other side is the trees. So this is the side I want in, and that is up. So we got seven and three fourths is what we need. Seven and three fourths. I gotta make sure it's even on both sides. I don't know why it's not showing that way. Okay, that's strange. Seven and three fourths is right 
here. It's funny because, oh, <laughs> I know why it's doing it. I didn't have this lifted up. Dummy. Okay, you can tell I don't use this every day. But I like to, I like to use it cutting my paper because it gives a clean cut. And you guys will figure that out at some point too. Now, we've got to do um, the, let me get my, where'd it go? Excuse me, just a moment. My paper just disappeared. Silly. Okay. Oh, here it is. I've got several stacked over here, and it, for some reason, I guess the wind blew it up under there. Huh. Okay, so the book width has to be five and three fourths. So if you if you cut it all at once, you're gonna have to cut it at let's see, five and three fourths. Five and three fourths is gonna be ten. 1050, is that right? Okay, so it's going to be 1150. Woo, glad I didn't cut it because I don't have any more of this. 1150, I always double check myself because, you know, it's best to do that. So we don't have to take much off of here. But now we have all the measurements down. Now, I always keep this little strip with little golden books because it will fit perfect when we start making the little golden books, uh, reconstructing them to fit into this, this little book. Okay, so I'm not gonna fold them right now because we know what we've got going here. So, let's just do this. You know what? I don't even think I wanna cut the branding strip off. It's kind of a waste of time, you know? So, we're going to cut seven and three-fourths. Let's see. Seven and three-fourths. Okay. And then we want to turn it and do eleven and a half. And get our little strip here. And hang on to those. Trying to find a spot to put them on my desk. You would not believe what my desk looks like. Well, you probably would. You've probably had the same situation before. Okay, now, and the story talks. This is, those were our cover, okay? These were our, our front cover to each signature, and there'll be two. Now, it talks about the stockings were hung by the chimney with care. So we're going to put those in here as well. And we're going to do seven and three fourths. And then we're going to turn it and do 11 and a half. Now I know this is repetitive, but if you make little golden books, I've got it all figured out for you right here. <laughs> Yep, that's that's exactly right. Now this this cutter or trimmer will um, it will cut multiples. But when I'm doing a book, I want to present it nicely to the customer, so I cut things individually. Now, if you're mass producing something or something like that, it would make a difference. So eleven and a half. Okay, let's get it on the line. Move it up here and move it over. Okay, now those were double-sided. But this this one is a hottie swap. And so I'm going to it is not double-sided, as you can see, and that's okay because the way I look at it, it just gives you more journaling space or decorating space or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I'm going to, how do I want to do this? Let's do it like this. I'm going to do it seven and three fours. We got to have Santa definitely is in the little book, right? In the night before Christmas. 
So I have a couple other Little Night Before Christmas that are so cute. It's where the children are in bed and they're nestled in their beds and they have visions of sugar plums dance in their head. Well, they're dreaming of sugar, um, sugar plums and fairies and all that they dream of. Now, I'm trimming this little edge because it's got a little rough edge on it when I tore it out of the book. I don't want to forget and use that on something. Okay, so now we're going to do it at seven and three-fourths. Nice and straight. And then we're going to cut off just a little bit here, 11 and a half. And I'm repeating these because that's what it takes for me. Repeat, repeat, repeat. It just makes more sense to my brain. Now, they look up in the sky. What do they see? Oh, Santa. Santa Claus. So we're going to use this paper and it came out I don't know it just showed up in my pack of stuff so I must have added it last year thinking it would look good when I did some of these books I didn't do the exact same papers maybe I might have I don't remember gosh I've done I did a lot last year and I did some that weren't little golden books. I did some traveler's notebooks. So, if you have anything you're interested in, if you just want, uh, you know, I've got to make a card. I'm going to make a cardinal book if I, if I have the opportunity to get in there and do it. I have one more after this book to use um, in order to get this order taken care of. And then, seven and three-fourths, and then we can work on something different. I think what I'm going to do is, I um, think I'm going to do a cover a book uh, with a really pretty cardinal fabric. And then I'm going to do a cardinal book because I had several people want those last year. And, I, I, you know, and then I'm going to try to do a pink some type of pink book because I had people that really love that too. So I'm not sure it may end up being, you know. So here's all the toys and all the thoughts and doesn't have the candy in there, but it has everything else. Didn't have sugar plums, which surprised me. Uh-oh, I just felt it move. Let's straighten it up and do a quick hit again. Sometimes if you don't hold it, perfect Paula. Okay, let's see. So, I saw my doctor and unfortunately I can't do my therapy. It's affecting my pain level and so he said I would be fine not doing that, not to worry about it. So, I'm not. Um, he did x-rays. The x-rays look great. It looks like there's a little bit of calcium building up, but he said that's not uncommon in some people and that I didn't need to worry about that. So he told me I had to, had to wait at least two more months to consider doing my other hit, but he is going to order an injection to kind of get me through the pain I'm having now. So that'd be wonderful. He said, I could drive. I'm afraid to drive. Isn't that crazy? I drive with both feet. So I'll have to use my left. I break with my left foot. Yes, that's my husband's fault because he um, bought a standard. We bought our first brand new car was a standard. Of course, you know, they were cheaper in that time. And um, so we got what was cheap, but we got our first brand new car, a little bitty cheap thing. But in, a little sunbird is what it was back in the day. But anyway, ever since then, I, when I got back into a, stand, um, a standard car, I could not, I'm not kidding you, I could not uh, get myself to quit braking with my left foot. So there you go. Isn't that lovely? 
So I got a trim. This is a piece of paper I found in the Heidi Swap paper pack. And I liked it. I thought, this is different. It will give a place of journaling. And it will... Uh, it says all the things like Elf Report, Milk and Cookies, Wish List, and all that stuff on here. Naughty or Nice. I think that's funny that that's on here, actually. Okay. Let's see. I don't want this paper to cut off. Oh, it's not. I didn't want it to cut off the numbers right here. So I don't have to worry about that. Okay. And then one more. And then we're going to cut the... I'm going to need to cut... Um the little um, papers that will be working alongside uh, getting the book, the actual story into the journal. Now, let me see. I need to go to seven and three fourths. Okay. We're going to fold these too um, because... 11 and a half right here. But we're going to go ahead and cut the... Um, we're going to go ahead and cut the tea stained paper. Let's fold these first. Let's just fold them. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm sorry. My husband posted a video last night that he overlooked. And it was okay because it was the last video with the first little golden book. So that worked out fine. And um, so that was good. All right. So then I posted a video of the last book, um, the rabbit book. And I had you help me decorate some of it. Not, not all of it, but some of it. This is going to be the center of our book because how exciting is that? You know, that's what it all ends up being about for Santa or Santa goes. And this is definitely a, all about Santa and the children. So, let's put this one right here. Whoops. Okay. I will probably stitch this book with black. Because it has a lot of dark images, you know, and I just, I just think that it'll look better. Okay. I'm going to have a lot of paper to make pockets. Um, a lot of good paper. We're going to have a lot of good journaling cards because, you know, it definitely has some great paper to do that. We might make something, you know, something different. I think this little girl's older than the last little girl. I need to get their names. I think she calls one V. But, um, yeah, I need to see. Okay. I'm not really liking the way that that Santa from Heidi Swap is bent and folding. If it doesn't hold out, if it doesn't look good enough or safe enough to put into the binding, I will change to another Santa paper, which I have that I wanted to use. This one was a little thicker cardstock. You know how that is. You want it to be as sturdy as possible. Or at least me. I hate to use. I like my favorite is to use double sided. I just feel like it can withstand the the use and when I can I use that. And when I can find it to buy, I use that. You know, sometimes it's not as easy to just to find in like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Every now and then you get lucky and find one like a Prima or something like that. 
Have you guys seen Primus paper this year? Mm, really pretty. So, I'm looking here. Okay. There's the first red and black. Okay, so this will have music sheets and a lot of old uh, vintage uh, sheets out of old vintage books, idea books, and all of that. So, just so you know. Okay, so here is our papers. Now, I'm going to stack them together while we're here together just to keep, so I don't lose them. Okay, so let's start with the first signature. And I want to go like this. I was going to only put, um, put those two and then I'm going to put Santa. If I can get my finger around it. So here's Santa. And then we're going to do uh, where's that little paper? Oh, here they are. These little list right here. And then we're going to go back to Santa's sleigh, right? And then where is the inside one? Right here. How cute. This is going to be a darling book, just so you know. Okay. So there's that signature. Let's do the next one. We're going to do the stockings. And then we're going to do the Santa Claus. And we're going to do the list. Because it needs to be with Santa, right? Because he's the one watching over you. Okay, and then the inside of the signature. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the first two. I mean, this is the signature, and I was looking for, I'm going to put a couple Christmas cards in here. We're going to do this Santa and this Santa, which, you know, we have done, um, let's put this Santa, let's call this the second signature. Let's put this Santa right here before... before the sleigh is is in the picture. And we're going to do them both right there in the same spot. Because in the other one, he's looking for cookies. He's eating cookies and, and hot chocolate or milk. One of the two. So we want that to be before this one. Because he definitely would have ate all the goodies before leaving the whole thing. So, if you notice here, and I hate this, but I'm going to have to trim these. I'm afraid <laughs> I'll ruin my books when I do, or my pages when I do that. But you always have to go back and trim, and I may have to go back and trim some more. So, I'm going to see if this book can hand, or this blade can handle it. You know, you never know. Now, I don't want it to get the front page because that's where it's just barely showing on the front page. Let's kind of go back a little bit. Keep your fingers crossed. Now, this is usually harder to pull, but what I've done in the past is I've done all of the papers. So, this time I just did, um, let me see what, if I still got them all. Pretty good. Pretty good. Now we're going to flip it and hold your paper in place. That's the thing. You have to have it all up into the spine and you have to know, you know, it's not going to move. Now, let me see. Why is it doing that? Maybe, see, I'll do it like this and then turn it around. Hold it in place. It's real hard to get it to not slide back when you open it because, you know, they have a tendency to 
do better at that point. So now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna come over here. A lot of people do not do this, but they cut their paper shorter. Try to make it look like it's, you know, out there a little bit. Okay, let's see what we've got. Now I gotta move it back just a little bit. Don't wanna run. See, that was harder. And that's what I was talking about. You never know. Okay, so let's see. The main thing is that you don't have any shaggy edges. And now when you fold it in and you're looking at it like this, those pages are gonna be a little bit shorter as you go in. You have to do that if you want your pages to be as, and see, they're still not. I'll still have to trim some more, but I wanna wait till I add other things. But I just thought, well, I'll trim a little bit and see where it takes us. I'm trying to get you guys to see what I'm talking about. I'm sure a lot of you have experienced that. And, um, because when you fold it over, everything just kind of wants to slide out, especially when you haven't bound it into the book. And But if you do bound it into the book like that, the chances are it's not going to do well. Okay? The chances are it's not going to do well. So this side keeps kind of sticking up. So I'm going to move it out a little bit more and see... If I can get that little edge, I'll be lucky to, but I'm going to try. And it really cuts thin. Look at that. But see, it still stays smooth. <laughs> I've done it where I've used the whole signature and gone down here and tried to cut it thin, you know, and regretted it. So, yeah, you got to be sure what you're doing. All right, so... We're going to leave it right. Oh, no. See, this other side's doing the same thing. I don't want all of this coming out. So, if it's doing it now, what's it going to look like when it gets more in there? And I would rather trim these now while, while it's a little easier than to um, wait until you have, you know, the whole book together. We'll save that for the the magazines and stuff. We don't have as much invested in that. See, man, that cut it thin. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so everything should look pretty good. Now look at that, big difference, big, big difference. I don't know why this is out a little more than this. Because I know I got one of them moved a little bit, remember? And that may be why. I'm not worried about that right now. We'll fix it as we go along. That's definitely something that is fixable. Okay. All right. Now let's see how these books are coming along. Or this signature is coming along. Now when you close it, you're going to see here. What I'm talking about, see all of those sticking out? Hold them really still where they can't slide back. And then line them up where you don't catch the paper, the red and black uh, check paper. Now that does, so I gotta pull it back. Get it really snug, just right where you want it. Okay, now you could still see a little bit, but we haven't stuck it back in here yet. We might have to do a little more on that, but let's pay attention to the other side first. I'd rather go back and forth and be sure that, you know, it's being done correctly. Okay. Whoops. So lovely when it does that. I'm trying to get it squared up into the spine area and then lay it down. Yeah, that's better. Okay, there we go.
Ooh, lots of little things. Make confetti out of this, can you? <laughs> okay, so let's see what it looks like now. We may have to go over it again like we did last time. It's just a process, and believe me, there is a difference when you do it and you don't do it. Okay, so this side needs a little more. But when you look at it this way, yeah, there it is, right there. Okay, slide it in. That is quite a bit. But we'll do what we got to do. Okay, now let's see what the other side looks like. If you catch the red, whenever you fold it back like this, the red's going to slide back a little. So that's why I keep saying don't grab the red because I, I think I did just thin a little and that might be why that's sticking out right there. Now, this side looks really good in comparison, but when you fold it, this back side still is sticking out, which is weird. Or maybe it's this front. Yeah, it's the front. I thought it might be. That's the side we hadn't done the second time. You know, this is things that I didn't do in the beginning. I didn't know what it, you know, that it, about it. And the more I've studied and looked and all that, I've realized that I like it better when it's nice and smooth. And I really do this on Traveler's Notebooks because, you know, it just looks better. All right, so we have both of these done. And, of course, I don't have all the spines setting back, but that's a better start than what we would have had. So now, um, our books are six inches wide. So this page is only 11 and a, let's see how big it is. We'll just measure it. How's that? It's a, it's a copy of a tea stain paper and it is just under 11 just a tiny bit under 11. So, right here is going to be the half point. And that's another thing I love about this. I'm just using my fingernails. Now I know where to cut this, right? And so, I'm going to cut two together. Let's see if those are actually the same size. Nope. See, one of them's a little bigger, so let's do this instead. I do diff I thought that was halfway, but I didn't count it out. I started counting it out as I was about to cut it. <laughs> nope, that's not right. So just fold them in half, okay? And then you can lay it onto another piece. We'll have a little thing there, but we'll glue something over that so it won't show. Now, the thing that cracks me up about copy paper, I don't feel it's always consistent. Just FYI, just FYI, I'm going to turn the valley side in here. Okay, and I'm going to slide the fold line. Let's see, right here. And it's hard to see it whenever... Let's see how many inches that is. You line that up. So that's five and a half. So five and a half and five and a half is close to to what we need. So that's what we'll do it at. Okay, so we probably won't even need to fold it now. We've got a we've got four sheets here, which is gonna cover uh I think we might only need one more. Yeah, we're only going to need one more this size. And so, I'll just get it right here. And this is to reconstruct the little golden book pages. 
Okay, now we are going to need, we're gonna need these little strips that we talked about, remember? These little strips, and I'm gonna set this them to the side. Now this is gonna be a page for each signature right now. Now there'll be some more tea stain come into it at some point. But we also gotta cut, we've got to cut some of the other paper. Um, and I'm doing this to go into the little golden book, but we gotta remember, is it the right height? Well, we need it to be seven and three four. See, just like that. So we do have to cut some off. It's a bummer, but that's just what it is, right? So we're gonna fold this one in half. Now I may come out with some more and make it uh, fold in and out. We'll see. Everything is a wait and see when I first start because, you know, I might change my mind. Okay, seven and three fourths. Okay, we can use these for hinges. Now we're gonna need hinges. Not really, let me think for a second. We do not need hinges for what we're gonna do. So we don't have to worry about that. These, on the other hand, are going to go inside here and we may add some more later. So let's just put it in front of Santa. I like the way the tea stain looks with the gold on this, see? So in front of Santa, and we'll have to we'll have to add some more. The thing is, is when I reconstruct a little golden book, it adds a lot of tea stain because it takes on the other half of the page. Part of it is going one one place and the other is going right along with the book. So, all right, here we go. All right, so we have these two signatures and they're all ready to go. Now, let's see. We've got to cut. I usually go with uh, two, two, um, two inch or two and a quarter. I need to see. I don't wanna use this black check. Um, or that. So let's go with these. There's some of them. I don't want to use both of any of them. So I'm just going to pull one out because it does kind of break up your, um, your paper where you can't do other things with it, right? I, I have decided to use this one, although I could cut two out of each of these and that will save on the check. I'm going to do that. So we're going to cut. Let's see how wide we want it to be. Let's look. Let's look. Okay. So three inches. Oh uh, gosh. Is that what I want? Or do I want two and seven? Okay. Two and three fourths. Let's do. No, I like the three better. I'm going to do three. I want it to look perfect. Uh-oh, yeah, that's not right. <laughs> I almost messed that up. Okay, I forget how this thing works. You gotta turn it this way. Let me see. No, you don't. You have to turn it this way. Okay, so if you wanna do, I'm, I was thinking I always did two inches, but I don't use this all the time to make that decision. Hmm. Let's do two and a quarter just to be on the safe side. Okay. We can get a little bit more of the stockings in there too, see. And we're going to be wanting it to be the same width as, um, give me a second. It's going to want to be the same height as the book. So we're going to do seven and three fourths. That way everything is just alike, okay? All right, so this goes back over here and we have this one. Set it over here. 
Then we're going to do Santa. We want it to be two and a quarter. Okay. Whoops, Paula. No sliding. Two and a quarter. All right, and here we go. We got it. That's the same. Yeah, I wanted to make sure I did them the same. I forget sometimes. Yes, I'm an old lady. Okay, now we're going to do seven and three-fourths, which is going to be the height of our story. And then we're going to do the little toys here, which is going to be two and a quarter. Okay. And seven and three fourths high. Okay. Okay, so if we want to do the same one again, we got to see if we have enough. I don't think we do. Let me see. No, we only have two inches. So we're going to have to, well, wait a minute. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this one measures. Because that strip is kind of, let's just cut this strip off. Then we'll know more. And that's going to give it, that's going to bring it to two inches, which I think I've used before, but I don't know that I want it to be that small. So, but I know that's what I usually do. So let's go ahead and do three of them, two and a quarter, and the other you know, that just makes things different. It's going to be enough pocket because we're just going to put, um, we're just going to put um, little um, like journaling cards in it because it's not big enough. Neither one of them are big enough to do um, too big because we don't want it to be, Where did the other one go? Right here it goes. And then we'll have them all done. We should have the main cutting on here done. So we're gonna put it on two because that's what we need it to be. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna show you um, if we have time. We have a few minutes. Well, you know what? Instead of that, I'll show you that in another video. Um, seven and three fours. Okay, there we go. And we've got these things that'll be cute little things to go with the other stuff. Now we have six to go along with uh, these. But I'm going to take these little strips out because I don't want those in there. So we've got Santa, stockings, yeah. So there's several we don't have to have in here because we've got plenty. There's one, Let's see how many we got. Make sure I have enough. Two, three, four, five, if I can get them apart. <laughs> Where is the other ones? Hmm. We'll put one of those there. Okay, now, I think this is gonna be plenty to go along with our paper over here. So the next thing I want to do, I'm gonna move all this scrap out of the way because it's driving me crazy. So the next thing we have time to do is just cut some of the journaling cards had to get a drink. I'm dying of thirst. I'm going to set these over here with this other stuff. Maybe I can get more accurate on cutting these. Now, here is the proper square. 
But it, guess what? It's on the back of the journaling cards I want to use. So you just kind of have to decide, you know, which one do you want? So I'm putting this at 12 inches up here so we get it cut just right, hopefully. I never am that. Um, this is the made, made for plaid by Photoplay. Okay, some of the stuff isn't identical, but it has the same patterns and same feel. But I love these journaling cards, and every Christmas, if I can find it, I go back and buy more to work on the books with. You want to line it up where you can't see any of the next card, which I did. It's a miracle. And now we're going to... Now, this one picked up what was on the other card. So, we got to trim that off. So crazy. Always happens. Let me push it back a little. It I, They don't have these perfectly square. It's so irritating because you have to cut and then you have to cut. You know, what's the point? So, the way they have these set up here, like this... Can't even see where the line goes to the next side. So I'm going to push it down as far as I can without catching it. We'll see what happens. No, this one's fine, but you watch. Yep, just what I suspected. This one's got to be pushed up and trimmed a second time. So it doesn't, uh, you know, show the part of the other card. I love this deer. So I'm going to trim this direction. And I would stack these on top of each other if I could count on them actually being, you know, identical. Like, see that one? Just put part of the white on. What did I do? Let's do that. It had part of the white on it, so I'm having to go over here and get this little sliver off. It's stuck up underneath. Okay. I love this one. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. I can't even get into the thought that it's Christmas. We have drawn names, because I know I can't cook this year. It will just be too much for me. I can't be on my feet that long. Listen, I don't even have to have a surgery, and it's hard. You know, I think every mother thinks that. I love the kids, you know, getting to eat what they ate when they were home. And my daughter pretty much does everything the same way. She just, um, she makes a different, she makes a sweeter dressing. She uses Jiffy Cornbread. Mm, I don't, but I make it homemade. And so... It's different, but I'm willing. I don't care as long as everybody enjoys it. And they all seem to like anything. <laughs> you can feed them anything. Last year we did a ham. I can't remember why. I think that was when I had my one of my one of my problems with my shoulder or something. I can't recall. You know how it is. Okay, so we're gonna do this little plaid. Push it up. Put it over there with the other stuff. Push up the little bit that's showing on this one. This is what's crazy. Look how weird this is. Okay, I guess there's no line at this point. <laughs> I know this is six inches, so I'm going to put it at six because you get four by six cards, right? Yeah, that's perfect. Don't have to cut that one twice. I love to use, I don't always use these cards in everything, but I love to use them at Christmas because even though I have a lot of Christmas stuff, I, I use it, but I also like to use the journaling cards because they're so precious. And they're, they're really cute. They go along with, you know, the theme and, 
if you have a theme. Sometimes I just throw everything in there different. But when I'm doing a book, I try to do a little bit of a theme. Of course, it's the theme that's in my head. So you might not have um, the perfect, but sometimes it's nice just to have all different kinds, right? But And that's what I want to do, but I have a tendency to want to do themes. It's my deal. Okay, so now on this one that has snowflakes on the other side, I don't know what I want to do with this yet. So I think it will be borders in some places. Like, I love this. But, of course, it's not going to fit. But I'm thinking, let's cut it off. This is what I have in my head to do with it. You guys tell me what you think. Let me push it back just a little bit. I'm thinking it might make a really cute side tuck. But if we cut it this way... It's not going to be what I want it to do. I'm going to do something with this. That's my challenge. <laughs> now, I'm going to save these for now. And we will go back. And as we need them, we'll, we'll trim another one off. I'm going to go ahead and straighten this one up. So, it's ready. And I'm going to go ahead and take off the brandings. Thing while we're on here. I hate to have to do... I like to have everything done. And when it's time for me to do it, I've got it ready. So, I have two more pages of journaling cards. And there's several different ones. So, we're going to cut this last one out. And then I'll show you the other one. The other one's just the small ones. Okay. So, we're just going to cut these. I like these because it has dad and it has, you know, children and the sugar plums. I just like all that. And this is the, the actual, the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas, St. Nicholas would soon be there. So, I like that. I want to use those. And so, that's why they're getting cut. Okay. All right. And then we'll trim this little edge just a tiny bit. Get out of there. It's cute little whirly stuff. Now let's take the branding strip off. And this is also by Echo Park and that's why you can combine uh, different. Now this particular one is uh, the night before Christmas. The last journaling cards were not. I already forgot to look who it was. It's okay. Um, they're so much alike it doesn't matter. Okay, that one's cool. Turn this one off a little bit. I love it. Three more. And then we'll end our video. So, I want to say thank you to all the the new subbies. I've got three today, and I just think that's awesome. We're trying to get to 2,000. We still don't have the book, the rainbow book done, and because of my surgery, we might have to use it for the next giveaway, but this giveaway will still be good. I promise. Okay, so here we go. Let's take a step back and oh this one has a little bit on the side so I'm gonna go ahead and trim that little edge off okay 
Last one. All right. So I welcome all the new subbies and leave me a comment. I love to hear from you guys so I can welcome you personally. And uh, thanks to all my subbies who have just hung out there for me and waited on me to get back and get recovered. I am doing better. I'm working every day in the craft room this week. And um, that's more than I've been able to do. And so that still has a little trim. And so I'm really glad to be able to get that done. Um, you know, I wanted to be able to, you know, I've gathered and collected stuff for Christmas all year long because last Christmas was so much fun. So I really want this Christmas to be just as good. And so we're going to um, have a fun, fun season, I hope. I'm not going to obviously get to make as many books. Um, but I'm going to make what I can and what I don't sell. I may give us gifts. And um, a lot of people don't like to just look at the little golden books and hope that it'll look wonderful. It's kind of risky. They think it's risky. And so here I am cutting more of these. I just thought I might as well cut them while we're talking, right? And I just want to assure you that um, I'll do my absolute very best if you decide you want um, a journal. Now, I... You know, it's going to depend when you want it ready as to how many I can do. So my goal is after this is to do a cup, at least the cardinal book, because I have such cute stuff for it. And um, it's going to be fun. Okay, guys. Well, this is the same old thing we've been doing. So I'm going to let you go. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up and... I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.